Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Tundra Mission. Today, we're going to be putting a tonneau cover on the new Toyota Tundra. And I'm going to follow the directions to the letter to make sure that I don't have any leaks, or at least as few as possible. You know how this goes, right? What I've got, it's actually unpacked, sitting down here. I've got the side rails, hardware, and then the cover itself down there in the box. And what it is specifically, and I'll leave a link to, to it down below if you want to check it out, but it is the backflip hardcover. It's the most recent version. I've actually had a backflip before, but not this version. So hopefully things are improved. And what I've seen so far does seem like they've made a couple of tweaks to the system. Now, what I've done already, the demolition, pretty simple. You saw in the beginning I took the cleats off and then I pulled the side rails. They will be utilized later, so make sure you save both them and the uh, hardware. But now, we're going to start in at number two on the directions, and this is one of the tweaks they've made. I did not have these on the last one, and that is installing these blocks. They're a foam block, uh, and they're for keeping water out, I'm assuming. There are two for each side, or one for each side. This bigger block kind of goes underneath here. Now, one thing, the directions say you're supposed to put the adhesive this end up. Now, if you do that, it's going to overhang the edge, if you see right here. They go right here. And if you put it this end up, well, you've got a lot of adhesive exposed here. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me unless something else is going to stick to it. And I don't know what that would possibly be. We shall check that out in a minute. I would think they go like this. I'll let you know which way once I have a look. And then, I love this touch, right here in this little nook where water can easily get in and run right through here. They've also got a little foam pad for that. It is right here. Just a little touch to stick in there to block water from coming in. Another little tweak that they've made. So, let me figure out which way those blocks go, and then we'll get them installed. Okay, next up is to install these S-clamps in what they're calling the side rails. And I found that a little confusing because I took the side rails off. They're referring to their own side rails for the tonneau cover itself. Just a little clarification. I've already slid some of these in. They go in very easily. They have a little ledge on the edge and it goes in. They can only go in one way. So you can't really screw this up. So you just kind of slide them in. Take a guess as to where these holes here are going to be positioned against the holes that you used for the side rails when you remove the truck's side rails because they're going to bolt in to those holes using the hardware that you removed your side rails with. The side rails that we took off of the truck, I know, confusing, right? They're going to bolt into these holes. So they'll line up once you get all of this set the way that it's supposed to be. Now, the front edge of this assembly or side rail, their side rail, is supposed to butt up right against the front edge of the side rail or the bulkhead rail that's still on the truck if you have rails. If you don't have rails, you don't have to worry about any of this. So this is going to butt up right against the edge. I'll show you that once I get it placed. You should be able to slide this thing a little bit before you tighten anything down. So don't tighten it down until you get this thing set where it's supposed to be. Okay, we've got the tonneau cover side rails in. You can see them there and then there's the holders down below for the side rails that came with the truck. Um, the thing that you have to be sure of here is to get it as far forward as you can. This bracket should, I think, ideally be touching the front rail here, uh, but it can't because there's a pad in front of it and then the assembly for the rail itself. But you get it as close as you can. You want to make sure that you can shut your tailgate and it doesn't impact it. I've got that covered, so I'm all good. Next step is to go ahead and reinstall the rails. So I'm going to do that. They go on with the screws that came with the kit right there. And then I'll still be able to maintain use of my side rails with this tonneau cover on. Here's a shot of what the side rails look like. And I did put the cleats back on, as you can see. Hopefully there's room. I don't think this drops below 
down to this level anyway, that will impact from the rails. And then I put the covers back on, so we are able to utilize the cleats as well as the side rails. Next step is to put the drain tubes on. There should be, and I didn't look, little nubs or something under there to put those on. I think I can see one sticking right out there. Let's take a look. Yes, indeed. Let me get some light on it for you. You can see this nub right here. We have these little drain hole things that go on there. And then they go down to right here to drain out of the truck. And that is why we have a smaller tube this time around. Another improvement I saw was that we do have the smaller tube. And that's so that it fits through those holes because there's no other exit. So this kit is, it seems, designed for the Tundra specifically to fit these things. Because I know other trucks have bigger holes in the bed. And of course the drain tube is to drain out any water that would collect in this channel and then go right down through this tube here. At least that's the idea. There's a hole right up here above for it to drain out of. So let me get those little nubs stuck on, get the tube run down there, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, here is the adapter. Uh, it just slides on, supposedly, right over here. Hopefully that will stay on there for the long term. We don't know until we have it for the long term. Uh, there you go, that puts that on. And then we want to slide one end of the drain hose on. Looks like both ends are the same, I think. So hopefully that slides on over the nub here. It should, I don't know why it wouldn't. Push that all the way up, like so. And then we are going to run the tube down the hole, you can see right here. So this just kind of goes free flowing inside the truck. And you stick it down in the hole. Now I may have to finagle that a little bit, maybe kind of bend in the end of the hose, but you get the idea. So we'll go ahead and do the other side and then move on to the next step. All right, I've got the bulkhead seal on. And that's how I put it as far as the edge, as close to the picture as I could see. I did tuck it in underneath the rail here in the corners on both sides. Again, trying to prevent any kind of water intrusion. Now, full disclosure, I made a mistake. The kit comes with two little blocks and three big blocks. I tried to use, I showed you in the beginning how these didn't fit right and I had to put them on this way. It's because they were the wrong ones. You're supposed to use the shorter rectangular blocks up in the corners, again for water uh, safe, or seal rather, right up underneath here where I put the big ones. So I was able to pull those out, hopefully with minimal damage, I hope. Um, looks like the adhesive is still pretty well intact. So I think I'm okay because we do have to use these on the top later, which is the next step. Now it's time to hoist the top up on top and line up these brackets on the side where we're going to bolt it down here in the front. Okay, we've got it sitting on the top. Now it's a matter of aligning the holes, these holes, uh, with the brackets underneath. I can lift it up here, I'm trying to do it gently. With these brackets underneath, you can see right there, that's what's going to secure it down. Uh, so I'm going to do that, but first, we're supposed to put these tie down brackets on. They're what the top would attach to if you folded it up. So we're gonna go ahead and screw those on. Do this by hand. You're screwing into aluminum, so you don't wanna go crazy. Uh, this is what they look like. Uh, they're just those little plug-in tie down things. All right, got it all done. Got the screws screwed in. It's very easy in the front. As I showed you the brackets before, the screws just go down through the holes and then tighten down with a hand tightener underneath. 
Uh, pretty darn simple to do, really. I think I have it aligned properly. You can see it has a nice, good seal all the way down. And then across the other side, a nice, good seal all the way down. This worries me a little bit. There's a little nick or something there, but if that's my biggest problem, I'll put some caulk on the other side because it looks pretty darn good otherwise. Um, the directions say to put the bracket underneath here or the frame just up to the bulkhead of the truck. That's what I did, as close as I could get it. The seal fits over the uh, little foam piece that we ran down the bulkhead. I think it's a pretty darn good fit. Love the look of it. I mean, it's a nice, solid top. Nobody's getting in here unless they, you know, break the tailgate or get creative some other way. Now, as far as the way the gate shuts, let's take a look at that. It's pretty darn good, I think. Just barely hits, or not barely, it hits the edge of the weather seal underneath here. It's right at the edge of the the tailgate. I think it's the way it's supposed to be. Of course, the proof is in the pudding. When it pours down rain outside, we'll see how this looks. I think it's pretty good otherwise. So I'm very happy with it. I think it came out really good. Let's take one last look at it from the top. You guys can see what it looks like here. Awesome. Just a good security measure, I think, uh, to keep people from getting in the back should you have anything back there. Obviously, humans can do a lot of things. So if somebody really wants to get in, hey, a crowbar, they pop those uh, little holders or latches on the side off and they're in. Even a sledgehammer, if you beat on it hard enough, you can get in, right? Anyway, that's it. That's the install. Again, there will be a link down below if you want to check out price availability and all that stuff. If you happen to have a Tundra, it doesn't have to be the brand new one. They make these for the older ones as well. As I mentioned, I've had them before different model, different uh, style, if you will. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.